so we start with the um, um, raw block of English willow and that, uh, that comes out of England and so we then get it at this stage and we usually buy it in a, um, in a raw form so that we can do the whole process here in our workshops in Hawke's Bay. The first thing that Labour and Wood do to the imported willow is to fit a handle according to the customer's own unique specifications. With these bats I've talked to the customer about uh, what, what I'm going to be doing. I'll know a lot of information about that customer and what their um, um, cricketing uh, background is like and so I, I've already worked out the shape that I'm going to be making into the bats so I'll now just work uh, carve that shape into the bats. It's an extremely sharp blade. One slip could be disastrous. But having made more than 30,000 bats, James Laver is experienced and has a good eye. I've written the basic specification on the bat. Just make sure I stay on track, but if you get it slightly wrong, it just doesn't work. Each bat is handmade, meaning it's literally crafted by hand. No templates, no machine. And so there you can see we've gone from from the block of wood and we're starting to get that more cricket bat shape in the handle. They produce at least a thousand bats a year with a process that can take mere hours. I've got to then uh, just just uh, um, soften that shape up a bit and make it, uh, make it really flow. You sort of learn in stages. Effectively you never take a stage too far. Effectively you learn not to make mistakes. After lots of sanding, they bind the bat's handle to give it support. And lastly, once it's labelled, they take the bat and give it a whack. A mallet is used to knock in the bat, hardening the willow and creating a surface the cricket ball will shoot off. That's another bat down, ready to be exported to its new owner. Keisha Brownlee, Local Focus.